Kentucky Security License. A Kentucky Security Guard License is a guarantee for legal practice. So, individuals must comply with some standards that vary per city. Even though each body regulates licensure differently, there are some common points. Being at least 18 years old, or 21 for a weapon permit. Holding a high school diploma, or its equivalent. Being of good moral character, as well as being in shape. Enroll in an approved program. All candidates are required to complete accredited training. It is for both physical and intellectual preparation. They touch on the use of force and industry history. Not to forget about seizure laws and communication skills. As for armed cops, they ought to engage in firearms training. The latter is necessary for a weapon permit. Officers are expected to provide their fingerprints and pass a background screening. They may also examine the driving record. Not having violations is vital. A drug test does not stay apart. It particularly applies to hiring agency demands. In addition, they recruit individuals with no addictions or drug-related crimes. In case you have a misdemeanor or conviction, it must be at least two years old. Serious deeds claim more time. The service charges fluctuate. The investigating company decides the amount of money. You should complete an application form. Sign the paper and attach the background check records. Lastly, pay the fee of $25. Also, do not forget to forward two passport style photos. Operator documents are essential, as well. They are to show that a person can legally operate a vehicle. For more information, check with the clerk's office. They will deliver more precise and relevant information. The authorization is subject to refreshing. Hence, you should renew it before it expires. To do so, send a request, include your name, surname, and address. Answer the given questions. Link the required paperwork. Pay the costs. Sometimes third parties have the right to authorize applicants. For instance, private organizations take up this role. It depends on the employer whether to accept it or not. Note that the aforementioned permissions don't demonstrate legality. To clarify, they only show proof of competency. Thanks for watching. Visit LicenseSearch.org for more information. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.